Hajong, originally a Tibeto-Burman language, is now considered an Indo-Aryan language with Tibeto-Burman roots. It is spoken by more than 175,000 ethnic Hajongs in the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh and West Bengal in India and the Mymensingh district in Bangladesh. It is written in the Eastern Nagari script and the Latin script. It has many Sanskrit loanwords. The Hajongs originally spoke a Tibeto-Burman language, but it was largely mixed with Assamese and other Eastern Bengali Assamese languages. Old Hajong the language spoken by the Hajong people, now, may be considered an Indo-Aryan language, this is due to language shift from a Tibeto-Burman language. Old Hajong or Kadi Hajong may have been related to Garo or Bodo languages. Words in Hajong like Mao, a, uh, Ya, Mother, Bap, Baba, Father, Abu, Grandmother, Aho, Grandfather, Dada, Elder Brother, Ba. I, elder sister, Nunu, younger siblings, Bunu, brother-in-law, Buji, sister-in-law, Gang, river, Gap, color, Dang. O, big, Bawai, to plow, car, soda, Dyao, spirit or deity, Ju, spirit or life, Bado, parrot, etc. are of Tibeto-Burman origin. Variations the Hajong language varies within the clans because of regional variations. There are five notable clans of the Hajong people. Daskine Korabari Susing Yi Barahajeri Mispi Rai Writing system the Hajong language is written using both the Latin and the Assamese scripts. Although both of these scripts are in use in India, the Hajongs in Bangladesh expect to use the Bengali script since most education is in Bengali medium. Often, for writing Hajong, the Assamese script is used. In each script, there is one added unique symbol for the close, back, unrounded vowel. In Latin script, it is written with A, or simply A, or E. In Eastern Nagari script with A, when it is syllable final. Phonology Hajong has 23 consonant phonemes, 8 vowel phonemes, and 2 approximants which have some characteristics of consonants namely, with and, j, which act as diphthongs. The vowel phonemes are, a, i, u, e, o, and, close, back, unrounded. Unlike other Indo-Aryan languages, Hajong language has only one I and U. It is somewhat t ambiguous whether the final vowel is a phoneme or an allophone of A in the environment of other close vowels. The extra vowel is not present in other Indo-Aryan languages, but is typical for the Tibeto-Burman family. Codas J and CH in the final position of a syllable turns into an S sound. The phonology of Hajong includes some vowel harmony and the devoicing of final consonants. For separating syllables, the apostrophe sign or hyphen is used. Consonant phonemes. Vowel phonemes. Vowels play an important role in changing the meaning of words and the grammatical structure of sentences. Unlike other Indo-Aryan languages like Assamese and Bengali, there is no distinction between longer and shorter, I, and, U. The Assamese script lacks some vowels unique to Hajong phonology, which is gradually leading to a vowel shift. And since vowels play an important role in the grammar of this language, the grammatical structure of the language is also changing. Diphthongs Hajong phonology has diphthongs which are iotized vowels with J, Y, and W. Diphthongs are usually combinations of I or U with other vowel phonemes. Common examples of diphthongs are YA, as in DYAO which is the combined form of I and A, WA, as in KAWA which is the combination of U and A, U, as in MUYA, combination of I and A, and WUH, as in TUWUHI, combination of U and A. Grammar Hajong language primarily has a canonical word order of subject-object-verb. A subject-object-verb language is one in which the subject, object, and verb of a sentence appear or usually appear in that order. 
Hajong language has a strong tendency to use postpositions rather than prepositions, to place auxiliary verbs after the action verb, to place genitive noun phrases before the possessed noun and to have subordinators appear at the end of subordinate clauses. Hajong is an agglutinative language. Words are often combined and compressed, often there is no pauses between words until the sentence ends. Even though it is considered an Eastern Indo-Aryan language, Hajong does not conjugate verbs in the same way Bengali or Asamiya do, but rather has a simplified system. The case endings in Hajong are also unique compared to other Indo-Aryan languages and may represent affinity with Tibeto-Burman languages. The following table is taken from Phillips. The genitive and unmarked or accusative cases have two forms, re, ra and la. Le. For words ending with the vowels, a, p, and, p, it becomes ra and le, and for i, u, e, o, and, p, it becomes re, and le. The vowels, p, e, and, p, o, are used to end interrogative sentences, like, bot case, have you taken your food, and, bot cabo, do you want to eat, and the vowels, e, a, and, o, o, are used at the end of declarative sentences, as in, bot kase, I, have taken my food, and, Bot kabu. I will eat. Adding the suffix b or ba to interrogative words turn them into indefinite pronouns, for example, kaib means something, k b means someone, kamaba means somewhere, and also k i b e kajba, kunda b and kalaba means i don t no who, whom, which, who s respectively in English. Similarly adding the suffix ha and ga to verbs means come and verb and go and bird. Respectively, for example, kaha means come and eat, niha means come and take, kaga means go and eat and niga means go and take. Honorifics A unique feature of Hajong language is the use of honorifics. When talking about someone superior in status, a speaker usually uses special nouns or verb endings to indicate the subject's superiority. Unlike Assamese, Bengali, Siliti and other Indo-Aryan languages, there is no word like Apuni, Apani, Apuni, Apni, Afne, to substitute you. Instead Hajong has a different way to indicate supremacy of the other person. For elders and other higher-ranking people second-person and third-person pronouns are never used. One always has to refer an elder with their name or their honorary title. Ending words with G-E and Ha is also a form of showing respect to the other person. Example short phrases See also Hajong people. References